In this video, I will show you how to do gift voucher design in PowerPoint. Stay tuned. Now open up your PowerPoint and get a blank presentation. Now make layout to blank. Now click on design. Click on slide size and click on custom slide size. Now the thing is that you can choose any sizes for making voucher card and I will choose 18 to 3.5 inch. Okay, now make width to 8 inch and make height to 3.5 inch. Now click on OK, click on Maximize. Ok our page is ready. Now click on Insert, click on Shapes and pick a rectangle shapes from here and drag it over here. Ok now click on Edit Shape, click on Edit Points. Now select a point and place it over here. Ok now make shape outline to no outline, now right click on it, click on format shape, click on fill, click on picture, click on file and now choose a food picture from here. Ok now click on insert, click on word art and choose a text box from here and place it over here. Now write down your headings here. I will write voucher. Now select this text, click on home. Now change your font. Now make a size. Now make color to red and place it over here. Now select this text and press Ctrl plus D for duplicate copy and place it over here. Now write down another headings here. Select this text, now change font to a signature font and place it over here. Ok now click on insert again, click on word art and choose a text box from here and place it over here. Now write down your valid date here. Now select this text, click on home, now select a font. Now decrease the size and place it over here. Now select the date and make them bold and place it over here. Ok now click on insert again, click on shapes and select a rectangle shape from here and drag it over here. Now make shape outline to no outline. Now make shape fill to no fill. Now click on shape outline, click on wet and make them 3 point. Ok now click on shape outline again and make color to red. Now click on insert again, click on shapes and select this rectangle shape. And place it over here. Now make shape outline to no outline and make shape fill to this red color. Now right click on it and make it send to back. Ok now select this text. Now press Ctrl plus D for duplicate copy and place it over here. Ok now click on insert, click on shapes and select this triangle shape. Now hold ctrl shift key and drag it over here. Now make shape outline to no outline and make shape fill to this red color. Now right click on it and make it send to back. Ok now click on insert, click on picture, now choose your logo and place it over here. Now hold Ctrl Shift and increase the size. Okay, now click on insert again, click on word art and choose a text box from here 
and place it over here. Now click on home, choose a font and make size to 12 and place it over here. Now write down your website address here. Okay, our voucher card is ready. It's the front side of our voucher. Okay, it's time to preview. Wow, it's looking cool. Okay, now I'll make the back side of this voucher. Now click on new slide. Click on blank. Okay, now click on insert. Click on shapes and pick a rectangle shape from here and place it over here. Okay, now click on edit shape. Click on edit points. Now choose this point and place it over here. Okay, now select this shape and make shape outline to no outline. Now right click on it. Click on format shape. Click on picture. Now click on file. Now choose another food picture. Okay, now click on insert. Click on shapes. And pick a triangle shape from here. Now hold control shift and drag it over here. Now make shape outline to no outline. And make shape fill to this red color. Now right click on it. And made it send to back. Now click on insert again. Click on picture. And now choose your logo. Now hold control shift key and increase the size. And place it over here. Okay, now click on insert. Click on word art. Now choose a text box from here. And drag it over here. Now click on home. Now change your font. Now decrease the size. Now make them bold. Now make color to red. Okay, now drag it over here. Now write down the headings of terms and condition. And place it over here. Now write down your terms and condition. Okay, now click on insert again. Click on word art. Select a text box from here and place it over here. Now click on home and reduce the size and place it over here. Now write down your contact headings from here. Now select this text, change the font and place it over here now press ctrl plus d4 duplicate copy and write down your contact here Okay, our backside is ready. It's time to preview. Okay, it's time to export. Now click on file. Click on export. Click on change file type. Select this file type. Now click on save as. Now choose your location and rename it. 
Now click on save and select all slides. Okay, your work is done.